Whenever we set up a design of experiment, we will be asked to fill out the entire design space. So we'll try to be in all the corners and go as far out as we possibly can. But we can easily have situations where some of our factors cannot be combined at both their maximums, both their minimums, and we call these factor constraints. And those are actually pretty easy to add when we're using jump. In this design of experiment, I have a single response and I have three factors. These factors are two continuous and a single categorical. So for the continuous, I have the temperature in the process and the pressure in the process. And then I have whether there was an ultra high temperature treatment of this afterwards. So let's say I know that the temperature at maximum at 70 degrees cannot be tested at high pressures. It's actually so volatile that every time pressure goes above 1.5, I can't have temperatures above, uh, above 60. So let's add that knowledge we have. The way we do that is we use this to find factor constraints. What are the two we're talking about? It was the temperature and the pressure. And then you select in blue the area that you don't want to have in your design space. So I said that any, for any pressures above 1.5, I do not want temperatures above 60. So the blue area is what I don't want to see. Make design. And if we then press make table and make a quick visualization of this by saying temperature by process or by pressure, we see that for any temperatures above 1.5, there are no experiments run. So really easily, we've just gone in and said, well, in this area, please don't put any experiments there because I will blow up my lab. So that was example one. In this example, we need to make sure that all the bacteria are killed. So either we need to have temperatures above 60 in the process, or it has to have a UHT treatment afterwards. So to do that, again, we go to disallow combination filter. I say temperature in UHT, press plus. And again, I'm selecting the area that I wanted to not have in my design space. So that where areas where there's no, I don't wanna have anything between 50 and 60. So we're gonna go ahead and again, press make design and make table. And doing the same visualization as before, we do a graph folder. We take the temperature in the process by the temperature UHT, and we can easily see that the area that is no have no uh, low temperatures. So in this, we're ensuring that either they're killed by having a high temperature or they have a uh, yes to the treatment. Those were two factor constraints that I could think of just off the top of my head. Uh, but let me know whether those were relevant to you. If not, what constraints do you need to add to make the sign of experiment more viable for your process? But thanks for watching. Give it a like if you liked one and catch you in the next one. Bye.